Okay, wow, Tamley and I slept in until like 7.45. So we're just getting our day started. She's eating some breakfast. I'm gonna grab my pre-workout meal, and then I'm gonna go downstairs and get a good workout in. If you saw my post yesterday, my nutrition has just been off. I've been stressed out. And when my nutrition's off, I just feel crummy. So today is refocus time. I'm just getting some gluten-free bread and some almond butter in. That'll be my pre-workout meal. And thankfully, I have a job that holds me accountable to my nutrition because if I get far off, I know my business is connected to my health, so I have to refocus. So depending on how my morning goes, I either do it before or after I work out, but I spend like 15 to 20 minutes just meditating, praying, making a list of affirmations, and a list of things I'm grateful for. With the kind of job I have, if I want to be able to pour into other people and help them become better people, I have to pour into myself first. Believe me, I have my fears and hesitations and doubts all the time, but when I am focusing on positive things and filling up my cup, those kind of disappear. So I'm just getting my to-do list for the week printed out. I have ones for like my coaches who've been around a while, my new coaches. It just has a list of like what you would do in a day. But some of those things are just making sure you drink your superfood shake and get your workout in and share about it on social media, get some personal development in, um, and then start just connecting with people on social media. Okay, so our virtual group is going and Abby just shared her transformation with coaching and literally got chills reading at you guys. Amazing. So the last couple hours I've been checking in with my coaches and my clients and just building relationships with people through social media and posting on social media and that's, that's the gist of what I do as a coach on a daily basis. I have about an hour left before my babysitter leaves so I'm going to hustle to get a couple more things done and then I'll share with you guys what I did. All right, so I just shared my story in our coaching sneak peek group, typed up all the details. I got a little teary-eyed, like putting it out into words, what has happened over the last nine years of being my own boss and the hustle and sacrifice that went into it has really given us a life that I literally didn't think was possible. I'm a very goal-driven person, if you haven't realized, and I just wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, but I wanted something that would give me something outside of being a mom as well, and so I get like the best of both worlds. I don't share that to throw that in your face, but I know there's other people who follow me that feel the same way. You're like, I want to be home with my babies, but I also need something outside of being a mom, and that's okay. You know, don't feel guilty for that, and you can totally check out what I do. Now I get to play with this crazy one. She's all about being a dog and she keeps licking me. <laughs> He's not funny. He's not. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs>